Are you shocked to hear that Harvard's president has resigned? Let's break down what happened and why. Harvard University is no stranger to controversy, but this one hits particularly hard. Claudine Gay, Harvard's first black president, recently resigned after intense criticism over her handling of anti-Semitism on campus. It all started with her response during a congressional hearing where she was criticized for not explicitly condemning threats against Jewish students. This sparked backlash from various groups including donors and alumni, demanding her resignation. Gay did apologize, admitting her initial response fell short, but the damage was done. Allegations of plagiarism in her academic work only added fuel to the fire. Despite initial support from some faculty, the pressure continued to mount. Eventually Gay cited personal threats and racial animus as factors contributing to her resignation. Harvard now faces ongoing concerns about anti-Semitism on campus. Recent incidents linked to the Israel-Hamas conflict have come to light, showing the deep-seated nature of the issue. This situation isn't just about Harvard, it's a reflection of the broader struggle against anti-Semitism in academic institutions across the United States. Universities are grappling with how to address these incidents while upholding free speech principles. The challenge is finding a balance that protects Jewish students and fosters an inclusive environment for all. So, what's next for Harvard? The university must now navigate these turbulent waters and find a way to move forward. Stay tuned as this story develops. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on this and other important stories.